Hi. Welcome to my channel. The Walking with Dinosaurs series concluded with Walking with Monsters. It featured pre-Triassic animals and provided a well-crafted documentary on our lost history. Like Walking with Dinosaurs, it was produced by BBC Channel and narrated by Kenneth Branagh. It was a three-part series and show us many interesting prehistoric animals and their life on Earth. The video is about all of those species and their modern adaptations. Trilobites are a group of extinct marine arthropods that form the class Trilobita. They are one of the earliest known arthropod groups on Earth. They first appeared in the fossil record towards the early Cambrian period, 521 million years ago, and they thrived throughout the lower Paleozoic before entering a protracted fall during the Devonian when all trilobite orders except the Pratita group died out. Their fossils were found on every continent. The date we have discovered no less than 20,000 species of this marine animal, ranging in size from 28 inches long to those less than a millimeter in length. Notable features include rounded shells with some smooth and some with defensive spines. Also many deep sea species of them being blind is an interesting fact about them. Anomalacarus is a radiodont genus that is thought to be closely linked to primitive arthropods. Joseph Friedrich Whitehaves discovered the first Anomalocarus fossils in the Ajagopsis shale. As its raptorial frontal appendages and mid-gut glands, they are strongly suggesting to live a predatory lifestyle. The concept of Anomalocarus as an active predator has been widely accepted throughout the history of research in the case of Anomalocarus canadensis. Its exceptional size among Burgess shale fauna makes it one of the first known apex predators. Aquichthys is an extinct craniate genus that existed during the Cambrian explosion of multicellular life 518 million years ago. It featured a distinct head and other characteristics that have led paleontologists to classify it as a real craniate, and it is widely regarded as one of the first fishes. Aquichthys or Caecinensis's holotype was discovered in Yunnan, China. The fossil was discovered among the Qingjiang fauna at one of a number of larger statin locations, where thousands of wonderfully preserved soft-bodied fossils have previously been discovered. Cephalospus is a likely monotypic extinct osteostracan genus, also known as jawless armored fish. It was a detritivorous fish, the size of a trout that existed in the early Devonian. Cephalospus, like its cousins, was extensively armored, presumably to protect itself from predators and to provide calcium for metabolic activities in calcium-deficient freshwater settings. It had sensory patches along the rim and center of its head shield to detect worms and other prey creatures in the mud. Brontoscorpio is an extinct genus of scorpions. Remains of the only known species of this animal, Brontoscorpio anglicus, were discovered in the St. Mogan's Formation. The remains were found in terrestrial sediments, showing evidence of Brontoscorpio being terrestrial. And they may have went ashore to escape predation. However, it is believed that due to its size, they would have difficulty supporting their weight on land and lived a primarily aquatic life. Brontoscorpio had to enter the water to molt as to not crush itself under its own weight. It was able to eat small marine animals such as Acanthodian fish, Pterospidomers, small scorpions, and trilobites. Dorygatus is a genus of extinct large predatory aquatic arthropods. Their fossils have been found in layers dating from the Middle Silurian to the Late Devonian and have been assigned to several different species. Fossils have been discovered on four continents. Australia, Europe, North America, and South America, implying that Dorygatus had a nearly global range. The original species, Dorygatus anglicus, was described in 1839 by Swiss naturalist Louis Agassiz, who gave it the name Dorygatus. The gases mistook the remnants for those of a large fish, which he discovered five years later, in 1844. Pinerpton is an extinct genus of early four-limbed vertebrate that lived in the rivers and ponds of Pennsylvania during the late Devonian period. Measuring almost 2 meters long and weighing 10 kilos, this strange amphibian-like tetrapod was one of the first vertebrate animals that could live and move on land for an extended amount of time. So Heinerpton was much larger than most modern-day amphibians. They had a long, streamlined body fitted with an eel-like tail, four legs with eight digits per foot, and jaws fitted with needle-shark teeth. It was black with yellow stripes and splodges. When females laid their eggs, the eggs themselves were soft and their young had gills rather than lungs. Therefore, they had to be laid in water. 
Stethacanthus, is a genus of extinct shark-like holocephalians that existed from the late Devonian to the late Carboniferous epochs and died out around 298.9 million years ago. There have been fossil discoveries in Asia, Europe and North America. It was roughly 70 centimeters long and resembled a shark in many ways. It is best recognized, though, for its oddly formed dorsal fin, which resembled an anvil or an ironing board. Its crest and skull were also covered in little spikes. The crest could have been utilized in mating rituals to clamp onto the bellies of larger marine animals or to frighten off prospective predators. Hyneria is a genus of giant prehistoric predatory lobe-finned fish that lived in freshwater about 360 million years ago. It was a massive fish, measuring between 2.5 and 3.7 meters in total length. And its head was decorated with massive dermal bones, and its lower jaw was pretty long and shallow. The teeth were strong, with the premaxilla creating fangs up to 5 centimeters long. It possessed cycloid scales covering its body, and numerous sensory canals to aid in detection of potential prey, as the watery habitat it inhabited was likely muddy and had little visibility. Petrolacosaurus is a genus of diapsid reptiles from the late Carboniferous period. It was a small 40 cm long reptile and the earliest known reptile with two holes behind the eye on each side of its skull, aka the earliest known diapsid. The first Petrolacosaurus fossil was found in 1932 in Garnet, Kansas. Petrolacosaurus fossils were discovered preserved beneath a layer of plant-bearing laminated sandstone. The fossil itself is estimated to be 302 million years old. Meganura is a genus of extinct insects from the late Carboniferous, approximately 300 million years ago. They resembled and are related to the present-day dragonflies and damselflies and were predatory, with their diet mainly consisting of other insects. It was almost 40 cm long and 70 cm wingspan. It is one of the largest known insects. Proterogyrinus was one of the earliest known members of the amphibian group, Embolomeri. Its skull was taller than the rest of their family members, and it may have given them the ability to walk and hunt on land. Its tail was also long and tall, indicating that it was a forceful mode of transportation in the water. The eyes were high on the skull, implying that Proterogyrinus lived an active existence near the water's surface. Arthropleura is a genus of extinct millipede arthropods that lived in what is now North America and Europe around 345 to 290 million years ago. Millipedes are a group of arthropods that are characterized by having two pairs of jointed legs on most body segments. Type species, Arthropleura armata grew to be 2.5 meters long. Drax from Arthropleura up to 50 centimeters wide have been found at Joggins, Nova Scotia. In 2021 a fossil was reported, probably a exoskeleton of an Arthropleura, with width of 55 cm and an estimated length of 1.9 m to 2.63 m. Adaphosaurus is a genus of extinct Adaphosaurid synapsids, also called as mammal-like reptiles, that lived in what is now North America and Europe around 303.4 to 272.5 million years ago, during the late Carboniferous to early Permian. They believed to be one of the earliest ancestors of mammals. Emetridon, another member of non-mammalian synapsids that lived during the early Permian, around 295 to 272 million years ago. Most prominent feature of Demetridon is the large neural spine sail on its back, formed by elongated spines extending from the vertebrae. It walked on four legs and had a tall, curved skull with large teeth of different sizes set along the jaws. Most emetridin species ranged in length from 1.7 to 4.6 meters and are estimated to have weighed between 28 and 250 kilograms. The largest known species is Demetridin angelensis, around 4 meters, and the smallest is Demetridin tutinus, at 60 centimeters. Samaria is an extinct genus of Samariamer from the early Permian of North America and Europe. Although they were amphibians in a biological sense, Samaria were well adapted to life on land, with many reptilian features. In fact, that Samaria was first thought to be a primitive reptile. It is primarily known from two species, Samaria baylorensis and Samaria sanguinensis. 
Samaria individuals were robustly built animals, with a large head, short neck, stocky limbs, and broad feet. They were fairly small, only about two feet long. The skull was boxy and roughly triangular when seen from above, but it was lower and longer than that of most other Samarimers. Scutosaurus is an armored herbivore reptile genus that are connected to turtles rather than dinosaurs. This para reptile was a huge animal. It was approximately 6 feet long, or roughly the length of a human male, and weighed approximately 1,000 pounds, or somewhat more than a stallion. It possessed solid bones and was heavily muscled, making it rather strong. It was also encased in armor plates, which would have provided some protection against anything that might have tried to eat it. Gorgonops is a genus of Gorgonopsian therapsids, they lived during the late Permian, about 260 to 254 million years ago, in what is now South Africa. The most distinctive features of this animal were two enlarged canine teeth that were so big they almost protruded beyond the lower jaw. Because of that, Gorgonops would have been one of the key predators across southern Africa during the Permian period. The Actodon is a genus of mammal-like reptile in the Pilocephalid family. These mammal-like synapsids lived around 255 million years ago during the late Permian epoch. It has disproportionately huge head with horny beaks. Both males and females had tusks extending from the upper jaw, with the males being significantly larger. They possessed powerful limbs and legs, as well as five sharp claws on each hand, and it was thought to have great senses of smell and sight. The Actodon, as a therapsid, had several characteristics with contemporary mammals. Most notably, they dug burrows into the dirt, but most only reached 1.6 feet in depth, implying that they were uncommon diggers who colonized abandoned burrows. Rhinosuchus is a huge amphibious predator in the Temnospondyl family that was discovered in South Africa. Its skull was flat triangular in shape, with a blunt snout, like some of the other giant amphibians, and a mouth loaded with little shark teeth, indicating that it caught fish. Furthermore, the small eyes on top of the head indicated that it approached its victim from underwater. Blistosaurus is an extinct genus of herbivorous decinidin therapsid that lived between the late Permian and early Triassic epochs, approximately 250 million years ago. It was a decinidant and had only two teeth, a pair of tusk-like canines, and is likely to have possessed a horny beak for biting off pieces of vegetation. Listosaurus was a large herbivore about the size of a pig. There are four to six species currently recognized, with sizes ranging from a small dog to 2.5 meters long. Bupercuria is an extinct archosauriform genus from South Africa's Middle Triassic period. It was a tiny reptile that lived between 245 and 230 million years ago and was related to Archosauria, which includes dinosaurs, pterosaurs, birds, and crocodilians. Eupercuria's rear limbs are slightly longer than its forelimbs, leading many scholars to believe that it may have walked on its hind legs on occasion as a facultative biped. Other possible adaptations to bipedalism in Eupercuria include rows of osteoderms that could have stabilized the back and a long tail that could act as a counterbalance to the rest of the body. Buchimbergia is an extinct genus of therocephalian therapsids that lived in what is now South Africa during the late Permian period between 256 and 255 million years ago. Buchimbergia mirabilis is the only species in the genus. It was a petite and short-snouted therocephalian with big canines, as is characteristic of the group. It is distinguished among therocephalians by having ridges on its canines and a huge indentation in the side of the skull. It has been proposed that these structures supported a venom delivery mechanism. If this statement turns out to be true, then it would be one of the oldest known tetrapods to have this characteristic. Proterosuchus, meaning early crocodile, was a genus of basal archosauriform that originated during the early Triassic period in what is now Africa and Asia. Measuring around 3 meters long and weighing 45 kilos, they are the earliest ancestors of crocodilians and one of the largest land reptiles of the early Triassic. They were dangerous riverside hunters and are well known from numerous fossils, indicating they were wildly successful in their time. They walked like dinosaurs and they brought down their prey like crocodiles.